Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your Xbox One S console to a DVI computer monitor. Now it doesn't matter if you've got the Xbox One or the Xbox One S, the same will apply to both consoles. Now if you have a look at the back of this monitor, we've got a VGA input and a DVI input. Now the DVI will always be a better input, so if you've got a choice of using both of them, go for the DVI as it's digital while the VGA is analog. Now it's easy to do, even though the back of the Xbox only outputs HDMI, so you haven't got any DVIs to plug in a DVI to a DVI, but it's fine. They're both digital signals, so you don't even need anything to convert the signal. All you need to do is get yourself either a cable or an adapter, depending on what setup you want. So if you're buying something from new and you haven't got any existing cables or anything, then the best option would be just to get an HDMI to a DVI cable like this. I think this is a three meter one. It was about four pounds something from Amazon and it's really nice quality. If you're adamant that you do want to use, for example, the HDMI lead that came with the Xbox, then what you can do is you can buy one of these adapters here. So this is just a HDMI to HDMI. I think this is the one off the PlayStation. Makes no difference. But if you have a look here, this is a male DVI to a female HDMI. And the idea of this is this side would plug into your Xbox. And then on this end, this bit here would plug in to the monitor like so, and then you would plug your HDMI cable straight into there like that. So it ends up converting the HDMI over to DVI. If you want to reuse your existing DVI lead, then what you can do is, so this is the DVI lead, what you can do is you can get one of these adapters. Again, all these adapters are only two or three pound off eBay and Amazon, they're not expensive. This is a female DVI to a male HDMI, and with this one, this side would go straight into the back of the monitor, and then this bit would go in to your Xbox, like so, and then that converts it to DVI. So then you would plug the other end of the DVI cable in here. So it doesn't matter which one you use, they're all digital, they will all work as well as each other. So in this setup, why don't we use, I suppose this one is probably the best connection, purely because it's only connecting one, two times. While with these ones, they're connecting one, two, and then four three. So when you're using an adapter you are bringing another connection into it. So if you've got the choice just go with this cable but it really makes no difference. They will all work as well as each other. So let's, uh, let's get it set up. Now the thing about using DVI is that you won't get any sound out of it. It was picture only. So even though over a normal HDMI cable you're going to get picture and sound, when you're bringing it to DVI you're only going to get the picture. Even though this little monitor here does have little speakers down the bottom it still won't bring any sound out of the speakers itself. So we have to do something else to get the sound out, and I'll show you that after we get the picture working. Let's get the cable connected up. So we're gonna plug the cable into here like so. Do up the little thumb screws. And now, come to this bit here. Plug it into HDMI out. And now let's turn it on. Now, depending on what your monitor was set to last time, for example, on this monitor, it was last being used on an HDMI, so I'm going to have to change the input to DVI. So different monitors will be different on this particular monitor. I've got buttons hidden underneath here, so I'm just going to tap one of them. Tap a few of them, and hopefully it will bring up the options. Right, here we go, and now I can go down to DVI. So I'm going to use the up and down arrows, and I've got it to DVI now, because it was on HDMI, and now I'm going to go to the input, so now it's on the DVI input, and straight away there you see that the picture has come up, but there's no sound. So like I said, even though the speaker's got, even though the monitor's got speakers, there's no sound coming out of it. Now the good thing about the Xbox One and the Xbox One S is that we do have different options to get sound out of it. Now obviously normally when you connect it to your TV via HDMI you will have sound and picture through there but that's not an option with DVI but we have got this here which is a toss link out which is the SPDIF this one here the little red light shining out of it so it's nice and simple what we can do is 
You might already have a sound system that you can plug that straight into, but I don't here. So what I'm gonna do is plug in this little adapter here. Now this is a digital to analog audio converter. So if you have a look on this side here, we've got the SPDIF, which is basically a Toslink connector. That's an optical cable in, so that's the input. We also have to connect it to a five volt power supply. And then outputs, we've either got your twin phonos, which is your left and right, your white and red phono outputs, also known as RCA. Or look at that, you've got a little 3.5 millimeter jack. So we can plug in some speakers into there, or you can uh, plug your sound system, you know, your aux in into there. Now, what I will say is if you're happy using your headset, you don't have to get involved in any of this because all you've got to do is plug your headset straight into here. So I will show you that working after I've set this up. So you might not need to get this, but if you prefer to have the sound just coming out, you know, if you're playing like split screen with another person and you don't want to be using the headset, you might want the option to have it coming out of your sound system or separate speakers. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you it working on this little speaker here and then I'll show you how to get it set up on the headset over there as well. Right, so all we need to do is, it's nice and straightforward, it comes with the adapter and it comes with two cables. It comes with a little optical cable, a little Toslink cable, and it comes with a little USB cable to give it power. Now with the USB, you can either plug it in because it's only a five volt input, five volts DC. You can either plug it into a USB five volt charger, so your old phone charger will do the job. Or what I'm gonna do is, I've got spare ports here, spare USB ports, so I'm just gonna plug it into one of my spare USB ports. You've got two at the back, and you've got one down the front here. So let's just pop the camera down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the power into there, and straight away now, the adapter's got power going into it. And now I'm gonna get the optical lead that came with it, and I'm gonna plug the optical in. Now with this, it is shaped, it's flat at the top, and then it's slightly chamfered down the bottom. So you do need to plug it in the right way. It will only go in one way, so that plugs in there. And now the other side, I need to plug in again, making sure it's the right way around, so the flat bit up the top, and I need to plug that in there, and they just clip into place. So now I've got the audio into this, but I need to get audio out of it. So this would be, for example, if you were to set it up on some different system with a coaxial input. So on this one, on the Xbox, you will be just using the the Toslink, the SPDIF input. So what I'm gonna do is, let's just plug in this little speaker here. I've got a little portable speaker here. Let's just plug it in to the headphone jack here. So out of the speaker, I've got a 3.5 millimeter cable, and it's gonna go into there like so. All right, and let's see if we've got any sound. Yes, we have. There we go, so now if you listen there, you can see now that I have got sound. If I was to go to Forza, welcome back, Vincent. Last time you were here, we heard a rumor about a barn find. There you go. So you can see Would it's nice like and me loud. To set a room there for you now. And the good thing is the picture is lovely and clear as well. A lot of people like using monitors because of the refresh rate and the input lag. So it's nice. Okay, so that's the sound out of there. Now, if that's not working, you may have to en enable the audio output. So if you go across to settings, to here, and then go across to all settings, then if you go down to display and sound, and go across to audio output, and if you have a look there, if I was to go down to optical audio, you might find that it might be off. So obviously now if it's off, as you can see, it's not making any sound. So if you find that you do this and it's not working, just go across to audio output, press A, and then you need to go to optical audio, press A, and you need to turn it on or turn it to stereo uncompressed. There we go, and now we've got sound back again. 
let's say for example if you don't want to get involved with this optical output if you're happy just to use the headset so let's just disconnect all of the optical well I'll tell you what I'm going to leave that in for the time being because you can still connect it to here and have the sound coming out of both of them at the same time so if I plug in this to here then what will happen is if I go back to Forza now I'm just going to turn the speaker off for a minute because I've got it coming out of both of them now you will hear it will come out of here Yeah, so it comes out of there. So that's that. And if you don't want it obviously coming out of here, you can just turn it off or turn the volume down. Again, you can, if you want, plug your speaker straight in. You can plug your speaker straight into here as well. So for example, that lead now might look, be a little bit heavy when you're actually using it. But let me lower it down. So you can have your speaker plugged into there. So for example, if you wanted to watch Netflix and you didn't really need to have the controller in your hand, then you could just leave it down and you would have the output via the speaker straight from your controller itself. Now if you're wondering how to change the settings and stuff on the controller for volumes and stuff, then if you again just go over to settings and now you've got these new settings here as soon as you plug in your headset these settings will come up so if I was to unplug the speaker then they're not there if I was to plug it in then go it will come up you see so now if you have a look there you've got headset volume that you can turn down and turn up you've got headset chat, chat mixer so you can have it louder or quieter and more to do with the chat rather than the game audio and mic monitoring as well so there you go you can have a little play around with it there now when it comes to the actual settings for the video then what you can do is again go over to the output so go to all settings and then again display and sound this time go to video output and press A and if you have a look there it says TV resolution 1080p you might want to change it to 720p if your monitor can't quite handle 1080p so you can just change it there like so and then it will be 720p so now that's in 720p but this monitor here can handle 1080p so I'm just going to change it back There we go, so that's it. That's how to connect up your Xbox One or your Xbox One S to a computer monitor using DVI and the different options to get sound out of it. So I hope you found the video useful. If you're interested in getting one of these adapters, this is the one here. Let me just tell you how much that cost. Right, that one was $9.95 off Amazon. So then it's not a lot of money and it comes with your adapter and the little cable as well so then hopefully you will have some speakers around the house that you can just plug into it or again you can get a set of speakers for not a lot of money the other option is of course if your monitor has speakers which this one does then what you can do is you can plug the lead from here straight into the the monitor but what i find is that i find it's quite quiet on this particular one so let me just do that now There's a little audio in at the back. As you can see, it does work. It's quite quiet. That's on full volume. So that's on 100% volume. So you can see if there was a bit of noise in the background, you wouldn't really hear that very well. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.